<clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to find three consecutive odd integers. So there's a couple things we need to know. First of all, I think everybody knows what three is, right? You need to know what consecutive is, and you know what integers are. I don't know what three is. All right? And we also need to know what odd are. So, consecutive. What consecutive means is one right after another. Okay? So, like, the numbers one, two, three are consecutive, right? The numbers <clears throat> four, six, and eight are consecutive even numbers, okay? Because they're, the e they're the next even number right after the previous one. Make sense? And 11, 13, and 15 are consecutive odd numbers. Make sense? Okay. The next thing we need to talk about are integers. Well, why couldn't we use, you know, 1.1 or something. Well, integers are pretty much what we call whole numbers, okay? Negative 5 is an integer. 10 is an integer. 100 is an integer. But um, fractions nor decimals are integers. They're all whole numbers, okay? Positive or negative. Um, so then, so we know what integers are and we have numbers. So what they're saying is there's three of them that add up to 21. So I'm going to say like this first number plus another number plus another number equals 21, right? Now remember, these numbers have to be right next to each other, okay? Two, four, I mean, these are the three consecutive odd integers, so they have to be right next to each other, the next odd number. Do you know what the first, or do you know what to start with? Do we know? So when we don't know what to start with, we give that a? X. An X, or call the variable, right? Because you can use a Y or a V or whatever. So we say, yes, X. And I'm going to say, whatever it is, X. And you want X to represent what? 21. Well, you know 21, though, right? You know what 20, you know 21 is the number. So what is it you don't know? Good, you don't know what the first number is, right? You don't know what any of the numbers are. But you can't do x, y, z because then you'd have three different numbers to solve for, right? And we can only solve for one variable with one equation. So x equals, let's call it the first number. Okay? So let's do x. So if I set x to the first number, what do I have to do to get to my next number? How much, how, what is the difference between my first number and my next number? Two. two. You had to add two, right? So I had to do x plus two. two. Then to get from here to here, what do I have to do? X plus two. Add to add two again. So I'd have to do x plus four because I'm adding four. two to my other two. Well, no. It's adding four to go from here to here you add four, right? So x plus two plus two is x plus four. Now I have my equation x, yes? But you're doing it from x plus 2. Right. So then you just add 2 to get 4. Put it to you this way. Oh, oh, no, 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 I get it, I get it. Okay. You're like from here to here is plus 2. Yeah. From here to here is plus 4. Because 4 is like, or, right. and then 11 is like x. Right, exactly. Oh. So then, now I can combine my like terms. I can only add x's to x's, so I get 3x plus 4. That's plus, plus four, plus. yeah, I was gonna say. I'm like, what did I do wrong? Three x equals six equals 21. Now it's a two-step equation. And you guys should be like, oh, thank God it's a two-step equation I can solve here. Minus six. I can do three x. Steps, please. <laughs> yes, you can. So x equals five. But does that make sense? X equals five. No, because the question asks, well, I don't I didn't oh, phrase the question. Yes. But it says find three consecutive integers. That's only one integer. You or that's just the that's just the value of your x. So you need to write my you know the three numbers are five, five. So if this one's five, this one's seven, and this one's nine. So they're five, seven, and nine. Make sense? Yeah. 